I'm Mr. Jackson, and Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. Well, the heat dome has begun to arrive across states of Florida, Georgia, and much of the southeast and portions of the Midwest. You probably have read a lot about this. So what exactly is a heat dome and how is it impacting our weather? Well, we've got to go back in time a little bit and talk about what happened last week over parts of Texas. We had a big ridge of high pressure begin to develop here in parts of Texas. And what that did was kind of set the stage for our heat dome. And it was not just hot in Texas. It was exceptionally hot in Texas. There were areas, especially in central and west Texas, that saw some of their all-time record highs fall. We're talking about air temperatures above 110 degrees with feels like temperatures in some regions approaching 115 to 120, so exceptionally warm. But when we talk about a heat dome, you have to remember the atmosphere is actually in three dimensions, and the atmosphere actually behaves like a fluid. Think of it like a bathtub. So the ridge of high pressure is actually kind of a dome that develops and this dome doesn't really allow anything to penetrate it. So anytime a cold front or a storm system tries to move in, the system actually actually has to go around our heat dome, which is why a lot of the severe weather the last couple of weeks has been in the parts of the mid-Atlantic states and northeast has to work around this heat dome. And heat domes have a tendency to really heat up the air and they sometimes can last for an extended period of time. In this situation, the heat dome is now beginning to expand northward and eastward. So it's not just Texas now seeing the high heat. States like Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, even here in Florida, and even parts of the Midwest like Kansas, Missouri, Southern Illinois, Southern Indiana, they're also seeing the heat as well. In fact, look at the updated heat alerts. This is a pretty expansive uh, list here of states. Really stretches from Kansas City all the way back through New Mexico. And you can even see the western coast of Florida, including the Tampa Bay area, outlook for this heat advisory. And we may see more heat advisories on the board here over the next couple of days, including in Jacksonville. So the next question is, how long will the heat last? Well, it's going to last for at least an extended period of time. You can see air temperatures will likely be in the mid to upper 90s all the way through next Monday. We may see a bit of a respite from a more, or for a July 4th holiday on Tuesday. There are some indications we get into the back end of next week that our heat dome may begin to kind of break down a little bit or at least fade away over the state of Florida. But until then, it's going to be exceptionally warm. It's normally warm this time of year. We're talking about temperatures that could approach dangerous levels. So be sure to take it easy if you're going to be outside, drink plenty of fluids, wear light colored clothing, try to get a bulk of your outdoor work done in the morning or in the evening hours where it's a little bit cooler. And finally, keep in mind that this is going to be with us for the next several days. So if you have some big yard projects to get done, you may have to do them kind of piece by piece over the next several days heading into the July 4th holiday. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckert for Channel 4, The Local Station.